Welcome to another ride along with goggles. And, uh, oh, I just realized I got uh, messed up on those front steps. But anyway, well, it's all right. I wanted some different ones on there, but it's all good. Um, yeah, we've got the new Ruta W900 update here, and the skin is up on Steam now. I guess you, if you got the truck, you probably found it by now, because uh, this is uh, a little after 8 p.m. Saturday. So you'll be seeing this on Sunday, so skin went up about half an hour ago, or maybe a little more. But anyway, uh, here we are in Penticton, B.C. We picked up a load of dynamite, and we're heading for Olympia, Washington. Uh, it's uh, BHP to BHP, or I'm not sure if that would be NAMIC, or uh, I keep forgetting. <laughs> Something like that. Anyway, yeah, the skin came out pretty good. Um... I uh, did a, you know, while I was updating it for this truck, I, I did changes to it. Like, a, there's some new things you can paint, and we'll look at them as we go. Uh, if we get a chance here, if we got it. It's a fairly long trip, but uh, it's all highway, so we're going to rip and tear once we get through Penticton. And the border, of course, because we got to get into the States. Um... Find our way out of here. It's Ruta's trailer again. Trailer again. Thought I'd try this sort of electric blue color. See how that worked out on it. I like that contrast. Or the barely any contrast between the dark blue and the black is pretty cool, but. You know, I've been driving that a ton with this skin and thought I'd try something different. I kind of really like this electric blue on the uh, uh, K100. That was pretty good looking. But yeah, some nice updates on this truck. I really like the things he... Oh, let this guy go. I like the things you can do with the uh, with the grill, like open shutters. I think there's closed shutters. Got that chrome bit on there, and different grill patterns, of course. So that's all kind of cool. Got those little fender extensions, I think, I've, on the front fenders. After 100 yards, turn left. So this is the 86... Oh, this is the 86-inch sleeper cab. Um, it's pretty neat. So you can have those... You can see that uh, door on the side of the sleeper. Uh, it's an option on a bunch of these new sleepers. So, just to be clear, there's um, a start a day cab, then there's a 38 inch cab, uh, two 62s. So you got a 62 flat top and a 62 high roof. And, oh no, wait a minute. It, oh, am I getting that wrong? Is a 72 and a 72 high roof and a 62 flat top. But After a whole bunch yards, of them. Turn right. <laughs> so let's see. With sleepers, we got a 38, a 62 turn right. flat tops, a 72 flat top, a 72 high rise or high roof or aero cab, and a um, 86, like this one. And the majority of them have an option to put a window where that door is, or I should say more correctly. A door where the window was in the original mod, and uh, it's kind of neat. I like I like being able to lose that window, have that door there. Keep right after 50 yards. Turn right. Turn right.
We got that rear bumper uh, painted with uh, some stripes on it. And there's. Go straight. I guess they're calling it uh, that thing in front of the uh, rear wheel, some mid bumper. I put some stripes on that too. Try and hop out till you get past all these, or hop in till you get past all these posts. Last video, uh, I mentioned that um, the three different air cleaners, Good and straight. I checked them out, and well, I just can't see the point unless it's a style thing to having the reduced height of that mesh, uh, the screen that the uh, thing breathes through. So there's one that's about half that height, and one that's just like, you know, in a, just a sliver open and. Uh, well, I figure you gotta let that engine breathe. So I'm sticking with the big ones. <laughs> Probably have a little bit better visibility past the short one, but I know it doesn't change anything in the game like this. Believe it or not, this thing isn't pulling in any air. <laughs> but uh, it's just, if you're trying to do the Walter Mitty thing and get some you know, imagine your best Keep life right. driving your favorite Have truck. It's yards. Turn right. fun to do it as if you really meant it. Turn right. I'm not getting many frames a second right now. Wow, it's really low. 63. We'll see if that picks up when we get uh, out of Pro Mods Canada. But yeah, I usually get better uh, frame rates than that. Hmm. I wonder what that's all about. Great scenery up here though. I know John Ruta's trucks are pretty hard on frame rate because they have a really high uh, polygon count. So that's the polygons are what the mod bits and bobs and pieces are made of. All the little triangles. I guess triangles and rectangles. And um, the higher the polygon count, the harder it is on frame rate. So you get a really smooth model. And all the parts, like all the bits on his truck, like er straight. everything's really smooth. And uh, so, oh yeah, I keep forgetting to mention, and you know, it's been a while since I have, and that is. Um, so we can hear somewhat. I guess I might as well... Uh, oh, I'm going to have to get over in that other lane. <coughs> um, yeah, what I was going to say is... Uh, I, uh, I put these videos up at 1440p and uh, 60 frames per second. So if you're whatever you're watching on, watching them on can handle it, 
F up the uh, video quality and uh, look a lot better. Especially if you're watching them on a small portable device. Because they'll default to 480 and it'll look pretty bad at 480. Got some of the scenery here, buildings. Go straight. Wow! What the heck? See how? Oh. And, and a nice Mustang too. <laughs> Was a nice Mustang. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that AI, boy, I tell ya. I think this truck is pretty visible. All this bright paint on it. Uh oh, here we go again. Okay, it's just gonna, no. Okay. I'll hop in here to drive through this place. Pretty sure I gotta go through this thing. Yep. I think so. Oh. Wait a minute. Truck entrance, yeah. That's for the public over there. It's been a while since I've been through here. Go straight. journey. Alrighty, we will. That's the plan anyway. Try not let the AI ruin it on us. like when you come out of here and you head over towards uh, Colville. That's a nice drive too. I haven't done that in a while, but I've done it on quite a few videos. It seemed to be, uh, there was a time there where it seemed every third or fourth video for a week or so we were heading off that way. Getting the barricade chop. Go straight. Keep right. After fifty yards, go straight. Go straight. Come in there a little slower, I wouldn't have to use the clutch. So, yeah, so east uh, to Colville here. Keeps right. Really good drive, but 
I haven't been on this one for quite a while either, going straight, so it'll be almost like a new adventure. I don't know if I've ever caught a red light here Good going uh, north-south. Yeah, this skin, boy, I tell you, it took a long time. I worked on it after supper yesterday for, well, I did that little video. I think I mentioned uh, I probably had about four hours in then. I don't know if I started working on it today. Um, well, I'm on mountain time, so I watched the uh, qualifying for a Spa Grand Prix. Uh, I had it recorded, so... I just, I didn't watch the pre or anything and just watch it, skip through the ads, got down here as quick as I could. After that, that would have been about 9 a.m. And I didn't, I took a break for lunch. I didn't finish the uh, skin till after supper, so probably got a good solid 12 hours into those skins. It's kind of a bummer. That's a long time for a truck that already existed and all you had to do was update the skin, but like everything was shifted around and moved a little bit and some things are in a slightly different scale. And uh, it's pretty around here. Should be outside the cab having a look. But anyway, um, I, uh, yeah, it took quite a while. And plus there's the new elements to paint, like that rear T-bar bumper and things like that, which took a little while. Of course, it's in a different scale than the rest of the truck, so. It's just amazing how much time you, it, excuse me, takes to do something like that. But anyway. all good in the end. So this is the um, new old school skin and I still I have to do the old school skin. I had a request for that. I'm trying to get that sorted. Yeah, I was going to do... Oh, one other thing, a uh, little noteworthy, I guess. 
I rearranged my uh, um, I did a playlist video playlist for the tutorials and put them all in a video playlist yards, turn right. so you don't have to search through all the videos for them Make life a little easier. Oh, what's it? Thinks I'm in 11th gear. There we go. Didn't register the uh, range. Yes, <laughs> shift. But yeah, if you just, um, I, I'm trying to figure out how that works. I think what you do is if you're watching a video. And you see my goofy face there, whatever, head and shoulder shot. If you click on that, it'll take you to my overall channel, where everything is. And then I think you can click on either, uh, there might be a thing up there for playlists. And you got the ride along with goggles stuff, and you should have uh, um, a tutorial playlist now. ATS tutorials. Go straight. Now I included, uh, I guess, at least one thing in there that's not really a tutorial. Hey, there's the garage here. I don't know if I've ever been in that garage. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we're in Wenatchee. Of course I have. Let's look at the map for a sec. Oh, here, let's go inside. Yeah, yeah, I've been there. This is the one where you, uh, you go down that way and around the big U-turn and back behind us under the overpass we just went over. It's where the service location is. Got a vintage something beside us. Freightliner. Keep right. Got a good motor in that one. Engine, I should say. Watch the boost gauges or the parameter here as we go up the hill. See if we get some temperature in this thing. So once again, that's the bottom right-hand gauge. Uh, yeah, it's climbing pretty good. That's your exhaust gas temperature in the turbo, or on the exit of the turbo. that uh, right-hand gauge there, it's going to drop 
fairly quickly. side of course is the boost gauge which moves much quicker if you're actually driving a vehicle with a turbo and uh, if you can get the uh, you know feed it enough throttle when you're accelerating away to get the boost going keep right and after 50 yards keep right get some boost up before you walk on it like if you just stamp on the throttle before the boost comes up, it'll smoke. And a lot of these uh, modern Keep engines, right. after 50 yards, turn right. These big ones won't. Turn they're really, right. really hard to make these smoke, but not that you should. But uh, having some boost up ahead of a big throttle application is a good idea. It'll make good use of the fuel you're putting in it. This is cool. I usually head off uh, right. around that big curly queue and go the other way when I come down here. in front of them. Sorry, dude. Is that 150? There's a pickup place over there. Uh, BHP or mining site. It's kind of a cool one. One of those big ones where you drive past all kinds of stuff before you actually get to your uh, pickup or drop-off location. I also uh, I probably mentioned it, I think, uh, in the last video, uh, got that auto car. It's the old XPS auto car that Hateru has done a little work to, fixed it up a bit. It's, uh, it's good, like the mirrors are not all dark and the glass is good and totally ready for 145. But, boy, I hope I'm not repeating myself, but I uh, did a nice old school paint job for it, but then I can't put the script on it for some reason. So I put the script on the driver's side, 
and it's and I don't if, even if I don't put anything on the other side of the truck the driver's side script shows up backwards on the passenger side whether they want it to or not you can't put anything on the other side over top of it because it doesn't register it doesn't show anything so it only gets a script from one side of the truck it's really weird if you put the stripes on and everything in the paint job goes on uh, goes on both sides you have to make adjustments to both sides to line it up but the script isn't handled like that so Stay left right away, or looks like it. Keep left. Yeah, that's a real poser, a real bummer. Oh well. So needless to say, I haven't touched anything on uh, trying to learn Blender in the last couple days. <laughs> We're going to have to redo the couple of the tutorials I already did because I haven't had enough time at it to, you know, pound anything into my old gray matter. So, uh... I guess I'm going to do a few of them all over. Not to mention I got a bunch of skins to do. Keep left. Yeah, we're going to Olympia, and I guess Olympia's right next to Portland, isn't it? Should start seeing signs for it soon enough. Seventy two, six seventy six.
Seattle. But uh, I haven't been, yeah, been in there for a while. And I've only ever done one load into the port of Vancouver up in Promods, Canada. That's the that thing I gotta do. You gotta get Harvin's old tanker on again. Maybe drag out the super test uh, skin for it in the uh, 521. Or I've got that skin for a bunch of old vintage trucks. Get ourselves in there and see what we can. Can't remember too much about it. Keep right after 50 yards. Exit right ahead. out. There's another home garage. Exit ahead. There's our drop-off place right up there. Remember with one of the updates I tried coming here and the game Keep crashed as soon as I tried to drop off a load. Hope that doesn't happen today. Turn left. Look at that, there's a plaster in Suns that looks like across the road and there's no you job icon. Destination. Let's see. Well, oh, game didn't crash. Okay. On the other side of the barrier. Just might jump out and look across the road there. See? Oh, they got stuff in the way. Uh, and to be an ideal place to uh, make part of the game. Hey, wait a minute inside for a sec. No backup beeper. I wonder what that's about. Those oh, so guys are going to be after me here if they're on site. <laughs> that up. Well, there we are. The new uh, Ruta W900 and skin. Ah, yeah, let's see how we did. 369 miles, 50 gallons. Nice pay. That's good. Dynamite. That's the cargo to have. Yeah. So, uh, oh, here, I'll tell you what we'll do real quick while we're here. So I bought one of each of these trucks so I'd be able to take the photos quickly. So... So these are the various cabs. So that's the 62 inch, it looks like. Or is that a 72? Oh, I can't tell. Flat top. Uh, let's see. Oh, I don't want that. I want to go out. And then, what's this one? This looks like the 62. That's the 62. The other one was the 72. All right. And then we got... 
This is the uh, high rise. So this is the Aero Cab 62 or yeah, 62 it looks like. And what else we got? We got the one we're driving. And this is the little 38. This is kind of a cutie. Oops. Let's uh, throw a skin on it. Give it the old. Are we doing red? Looks good in red. Um, that's the 38. And then we got one left is the day cab. Uh, day cab. And it's got a cool, uh, he's got an optional, there's more than one headache rack, and this one has a nice big beacon up top. Just kind of cool instead of that little thing on the roof. And um, as far as the day cab, I don't think there's much else different other than the usual updated grills and stuff. Anyway, there we have it. Uh, walk through. Oh, I didn't show you the door options, but I mean, that's okay. You'll find it on your own or we'll we'll do it someday but um yeah thanks for riding along guys as always appreciate the subscriptions and uh boy we had a busy week with subscriptions it was pretty good i'm probably i don't know 15 or 20 guys jumped on so welcome and uh thank you very much and to you have been following along faithfully really appreciate your uh, patronage it means a lot take care guys and we'll catch you on the next one Bye for now. Oh, have a happy Sunday. <laughs> Take care. See you later.